Hi everyone, we're here with uh, Gerard Hofgartner, who's uh, from the University of Geneva. And it's actually, we're quite lucky, he's actually visiting us here at the SciX facility. We're doing some experiments, we're talking about a few things. And you know, maybe to kick it off, Gerard, you can kind of give us an idea of some of the new things that uh, you're looking at that might have you know, applicability in, in the pharmaceutical industry. So we're still working on three major areas. The first one is on uh, in proteomics in the field of early HIV infection. Okay. So the idea is to understand which proteins are involved in the early stage of infection. So this is typically proteomics workflow where we do proteomics discovery as well as targeted quantification. The second area where we're getting more and more in is, of course, uh, the understanding of how drugs act against the malaria parasites. Okay. Also, re-exploring some of the metabolism of this whole substance, and also to get more understanding of, of what's going on changes on the biology. And the third area we're still quite active is mass spectrometry imaging especially in tissue slices, and also to expand more the capability of Maldi as a quantitative technique for imaging. Wow, great. You know, I know some of your work also expands around the use of, uh, of SWATH capabilities. Maybe you can kind of give us an idea of you know, what you're using that for. Yeah, SWATH, so we particularly interested and we have started to explore it as a tool uh, for using qualitative and quantitative analysis, in particular of drug metabolism. First, to be able to catch all the metabolites which are circulating in a biological fluid and also in the second step is having the capability to do relative quantification in a single analysis. And what we're interested in the SWAF capability is that we can perform one LCMS analysis and the post-acquisition data processing. And we sure then that we don't miss any yeah, so valuable information. So those are some of the kind of key reasons why you're using a DC. You know, maybe in other areas where you could use SWATH that might be, you know, advantage to, to, to some applications in the pharmaceutical industry? Well, basically we use no SWATH for almost all our wow. application and we use IDA as a or DDA as a comparative method. Another thing we're very interested in is not only to follow the fate of drugs, but also understand the change in the biology of, of the host. So, SWATH is very useful for us for doing meta integrated metabolomics where we, we we want to monitor uh, change of drugs which are administered to cure diseases, but at the same time also to see which metabolites are underexpressed or overexpressed. And also for, for that purpose, we now have developed uh, an accurate mass human metabolome library which contains about 550 compounds, which is essentially either for identification of those metabolites in urine and plasma, but also to serve as a base to set up quantitative assays. So using the swap, we can identify the compounds of interest, but also using the fragments and from the knowledge from the library, we can set up quantitative methods. So the expression change. Yeah, really using the full power in terms of both qualitative and a quantitative. And I think that's, yeah, that's one of our major drive, really at the discovery phase, doing this kind of investigation, is you want to know what is changing and how much. Excellent. Well, thank you for the time.